Jonathan, what insects have you been talking about the most recently? Oh, uh, we've had a few calls lately about a very particular species of beetle. The Japanese beetle seems to be quite common right now. So what's with that? Why is it like the plague in Omaha with Japanese beetles flying around everywhere? But we're not having that problem in Lincoln or other Nebraska cities. That's true. Japanese beetle is an invasive insect. It takes some time for it to get established in certain areas. So that means that it follows sort of an invasive pattern. And that means that in the first two or three years that it starts to appear in an area, it's sort of in the background, sinisterly building up and feeding very rarely, getting noticed by people. And then in years five, six, and seven, the population really explodes. And that's what we're seeing in Omaha. If you live in other Nebraska cities and you see one or two of these beetles flying around, be prepared in the next few years for the real invasion to begin. If you want to identify a Japanese beetle, it's pretty easy to do because they're beautiful and really beautifully colored. So their head and their thorax are this metallic green and their elytra or their hard shell wing are this rich hue of copper. They're half an inch long and then they have these white tufts of fur on their butt. So when they've got their face <laughs> deep in a leaf or flower, you can see those characteristic spots sticking out. Japanese beetles do create distinct symptoms when they feed on a plant like this linden tree here. They skeletonize the leaves, creating a lace-like or doily-like leaf when they finish. They also can feed on fruits and flowers, hollowing out fruits and shredding flowers as they go through there. And they're not particularly picky either. There are over 300 species of plants that they will eat. Their favorite being linden, birch, grape, raspberries, and pears. So if you've got a landscape, I am sure they will find something to eat there. Everybody that's called in wants to know, what can we do about this beetle here this year? And unfortunately, most of the answers are gonna be not much. The damage has occurred. You have to wait for your plant to recover in most cases. If you have a shrub or a flower or a garden plant or a small tree that you're trying to protect, you can use organic products like neem or pyrethrum containing insecticides like pyola. Those work really well against the beetle. They last about a week. You'll have to make multiple applications, but they are very helpful in the fight against this beetle. If you have a big mature tree that's been a part of the landscape for a while, it will grow out of it. You just need to wait the beetle out at this point. If you're worried about your roses or your flowers on your ornamentals, you can always pick the blooms off and wait for the populations to fade before they can rebloom. You can also use a row cover to protect your plants, or you can do what I do and get into the garden and pick off the beetles and put them in soapy water. It drowns them. It's quite satisfying. If you want to be proactive in 2018 and protect your plants from Japanese beetle, you need to get out in May around Mother's Day and treat trees with a systemic insecticide containing imidacloprid or dinotefuron. Your tree will be protected for one year. You can do that to all species that are susceptible to Japanese beetle, except for linden trees, unfortunately. You'll have to treat their leaves instead. You also need to be proactive in terms of treating for the grub, right, Jody? Right. You can also be proactive next year by treating the soil and treating the immature form of the Japanese beetle by using something like Scott's Grub X on your yard to kill the white grubs. But that doesn't guarantee that you won't see adult beetles next year because they can fly from five miles away and they're strong flyers. So unless all your neighbors treat their turf, you're sure to see beetles again next year. The last treatment thing we wanna talk about is some of the things you do wanna avoid. You'll see in a lot of garden store displays, the Japanese beetle bag traps and the milky spore tubes. We would prefer not to see those get used very frequently because the traps attract more beetles than they can catch and can lead to greater amounts of defoliation in your landscape. And university trials have not really supported the use of milky spore against the grubs. So we do need to rely on some of those more traditional insecticides and not on those other materials that we see in the store. It's important to remember not to panic. The leaves will fall off the trees in the fall and come back in the spring and perennials will return. And the beetles will subside here in the next couple of months. We'll see them fly until about the end of August, but after that we start to see the populations peter out. Everything will be okay. Yes, the sun will come out tomorrow.